You lost your temper last week. You should have spent more time with your family. You went to church, but you were late. You gave, but you didn't give enough. There were a lot of events in my life that went wrong. Loss of children, people who were taken away too early. There was this men's advance, it's like a retreat, a lot of talking went on, a lot of singing, a lot of praising, and then there came a time of talk. I lost it. I cried so much that I couldn't even really see out of my eyes. Well, let's put it this way, since then, if I'm not at church, it's for a reason. Lord, we ask that you bless these bikes, that you keep them upright, Lord, as they are out being ridden, that these bikes will Pastors be- Pastors have said it many times, Oh, you're doing all the good thing. You're here at church. Boo, 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 boo. Who are you helping? We don't go knocking on doors. You know, we're not preachers or anything like that. He's given us certain tools to use, our bikes. Because you're a biker doesn't mean you're an outlaw. I can ride and help minister to help share my spiritual side on the outside of church so much nicer to be on the open road, see what God actually gave us. We're actually smelling, even the fuel, okay, <laughs> in the cow pastures, okay? But God made all that, you know? Lord, God, you come in this place to worship you. I find that I converse with the Lord quite a bit out there on that bike, because I'm looking to what He has given us, thanking Him, asking Him, praying, there are times when things are troubling me. I get on the bike and ride some of the roads. I do come back with a clear head most of the time. So I save a lot of money not going to the shrink. I got my own shrink up there. He's the one that helps me. You know, each and every one of us, your anointing's not reserved just for this platform. But I thank you that it fills the building this morning, that it 